This video is about how to update FailHealth members' data record. Without further ado, let's start. To update or correct your FailHealth membership data, fill up FailHealth member registration form or PMRF. Then you will secure it by downloading it to the website or go to the branch so download the form visit to the website of fell health using the google or any browser you use mine is google so on the search bar type the website address of fell health which is www.fellhealth.gov.ph click lang ang enter then punta na tayo sa fell health website. Ito yung pinaka home address or home page ng PhilHealth. Yan. So, may about us, members, our partners, online services. And hanapin mo lang yung downloads sa taas para po makapunta tayo dun sa form or makita natin yung different forms. Yan. So, ito po yung downloads. Then, you click the downloads. So, it's under ng downloads, forms, aggregations documents, Z benefits documents, and the IEC sa baba. So, sa atin is the forms. So, you click the forms up there yung pinakataas. Then, makikita natin kung ano yung under ng forms. Hahanapin lang natin yung Fell Health Member Registration Form or the PMRF. So, i-click lang natin yung form. Ayun ang form. So, may membership, claims, tapos a claims. Yan po. So, under ng mga claims, yun yung mga claim signature form, claim member and patient information, Providers information, patients clinical record, clinical summary, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Yun yung mga claims po, yung, ito po yung mga ginagamit or mga form na ginagamit during claims pag na hospital. Reimbursement. So, to update the record, ang kailangan natin is fell health member registration form. So, under ng membership, makikita mo may dalawa, yung PMRF at saka PMRF that's FN. So, PhilHealth Member Registration Form and PhilHealth Member Registration for nation, Foreign National. So, doon tayo sa taas. I-click lang natin yung PhilHealth Member Registration Form para po makapag-download tayo o i-download na siya yung pinaka-form po mismo. So, it's loading. Then, do you want to download PMRF? So, click download. So, yan. Ito na po yung pinaka-PMRF na form na dapat i-accomplish natin. So, ito yung pinakataas na content. Yan. So, may reminders. Your fail health in identification number or your PIN is unique and permanent number. So, kailangan isang number per person po. Hindi po pwedeng multiple. Always use this PIN number once nakipag-transaction tayo sa fail health type the 12 numbers of fell health then the purpose so kailangan din natin ma-forget na i-check yung updating or slash amendment na box beside just follow the instructions on the page 2 next is fill up the personal details that is the member's last name first name and the middle name and extension if there's any the third junior ganun kung walang middle name just check that box there after no middle name so the others is mother's name maiden name so yung uh, pangalan ng mother mo pagkadalaga so yun complete lang last name first name and also the middle name then the spouse if you're married so ilagay din yung name ng last name ng spouse mo on the first name then is the date of birth so month date and then the year then the place of birth 
the city and the municipality or the province country then. and also the sex the civil status citizenship and the Felsis ID number and the tax identification number is actually is optional so it's up to you if you want to put it there especially the tax identification number so the next one is the address and the contact details so under the address and contact details if they have the changes then you make it the right one uh, fill up the right one then the permanent address home address so if it is the also the mailing address same lang sa taas then you check the ma the box there beside the same as above or if it is different then you fill up the different address so the important also is the home phone number or any mobile number so mobile number you should put it there it is required since dyan po mag, mag text yung or magsisend ng mga important messages yung health then email address especially yung mga OFW that is required so, lagay nyo lang po yung active email address po then the other declarations of dependence so you fill up that if it is mahaba po yung mga dapat yung i-add so put it in another sheets so ilagay nyo lang yung last name first name kung may mga extension like junior the third senior then put it there then the middle name then relationship to sa dependents then the date of birth then citizenship po na yung nilagay nyo if there's no middle name then you also check the middle name if it is disabled or yun so i-check nang po nyo yung mga box dyan kung if it is applicable to you so another is the member type the member type if, it's, if you are employed private if you are employed government professional practitioner self employed yung mga individuals or proprietorship uh, kasambahay family driver sea base migrant worker land base lifetime member Filipino with dual citizenship yung living abroad, yung and, the, and more. Then, if it is indirect contributor, like for peace and PWD. So, yan, and there's yan ng indirect contributors. The next is the profession. Kung ito po ay ilalagay dito kung ano profession, usually po dun sa mga practitioner, professional practitioner. So, ilagay. So, pero hindi na dito ilalagay yung isulat mo ng profession if it is your lifetime member. Unemployed and sea-based migrant workers. The next is the monthly income. So, kung ano po yung monthly income, isulat nyo dun kasi dyan po yung be based Then, ng contributions. Then, the last one is the updating or amendment. So, let's check the box beside kung ano po yung i-change nyo or i-amend. Uh, then, ilagay nyo lang yung from to to. So, there, there is a list kung ano yung usually na ina-update and amend. This is the change of correction or of name. Kasi usually, nagkakamali din ng type ng fell health employees. So, that's why pwede mo naman siyang i-change dito from yung una yung mali then to yung the correct one then usually din yung magcha-change or ito ng correction na name if if woman get married so di ba magcha-change na yung last name so you can also put there then from yung pagkadalaga na name mo to yung pag-married name mo na another possible na i-update or i-amend is the correction of the date of birth so, usually din kasi ito din yung mali. So, dapat pag may mali na, dapat i-amin nyo agad. So, ganun din yung from yung, yung mali na record. Then, to yung yung correct one. Then, the correction of sex. Female to male. Then, male to female. So, yan. Kung ano lang mali. So, another one is the change of civil status. Yun yun. If you're single to married, then married, married to widow. Lastly, na i-update yung personal information like address, telephone number, email address. Fill up the wrong one, ilagay mo siya under ng from. Then, the correct one is the under ng to. So, yan. So, much better na i-double check nyo 
para po ma-check na agad kung mali or yung mga pinifill up nyo. So, next one is the member signature signature of a printed name. So, you, you type with capital, then the above is you put the sign, then the date. Then, please put thumb mark if it is unable to write. So, yan. So, next is the instruction. So, kailangan din basahin nyo yung instruction bago po mag fill up ng form para hindi po magmali-mali. So, lahat po dapat ay nakasulat ng uppercase or capital letters para po mas malinaw. So, yung mga tanong doon or yung mga dapat fill up on, if it you're not applicable naman, yung information, type in A stands for not applicable. Again, on the purpose, you must check the updating or amendment box of the information para po ma kita po ng taga PhilHealth na you are updating or amending your information. So, yan. Da, lahat po yan ay may po, mayroon po yung mga dapat na supporting documents. Depending on the kind of information you are updating, you'll may be required to submit certain documents to prove the necessary change. For example, you need to change your civil status from single to married. So, provide a photocopy of your marriage certificate to correct your name, birth date, or birth place, then submit a photocopy of your birth certificate. Then, if you're adding dependents, present proof of relationship. So, refer to the list of requirements for declaring dependents. So, to change your membership type to OFW, present any proof of an active OFW such as valid overseas employment certificate or OEC. And this form also used for if you're changing to a voluntary member, your membership category and the PhilHealth records will be updated only after paying contribution as a voluntary member for the first time. Likewise, if you're changing to a formal economy member, your membership category will change after your employer has reported you to PhilHealth as a new employee and remitted your contribution. So, yun yung makikita nyo under sa MDR or the member's data record. After filled up and accomplished the PMR form, you can submit it to the office, PhilHealth Office branch. Then, after submitting your PMRF and the supporting documents, the officer will validate your information and encode it on the PhilHealth database. So, you just wait kasi they will issue the updated MDR and PhilHealth ID at the same time. And for those OFWs who are currently abroad, me email their email address to OFP at philhealth.gov.ph. So you send the accomplished PMRF and also attach the supporting document as well. And they will send to you the updated MDR and the PhilHealth regular ID card. So, ito po yung MDR. Then, this is the PhilHealth ID card. So, it just look like this. So, that's all. Thank you. Clap.